you guys, it's Carl's here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, I think I'm doing okay. <laughs> I, why do I say it like that? No, seriously, I'm doing pretty good. It's just, it's been a scorcher these past couple days and going into the new week, it's going to be crazy hot. So wherever you guys are at, I hope you guys are AC is completely working. I hope you're staying cool. It is, what do they call it? The dog days of summer, something like that. And you know what? I still don't know what that metaphor stands for. So I need to look it up to see exactly what it means because it probably means something horrific and I'm just, yeah, saying it. Anyways, how you guys doing? Sorry, eyelash, I think. <laughs> Anyways, so in today's video, today's video, we're actually going to be reviewing a few new products I picked up from, well, I picked them up from Ulta, but I purchased from the brand CoverGirl and Elf Cosmetics. So I ended up picking up three new lipsticks, as I mentioned, from CoverGirl. This is from their new line. This is the Clean, so it's completely all vegan lipsticks, also Carmine am I saying that correctly? Carmine free. So that's pretty cool, right? And then I ended up purchasing these e.l.f. lip liners. I guess they're, it says that they're cream gel lip liners. I had to pick these up because if you are a friend to my channel, you know how much I don't prefer lip liners where they like just Urgh, they tug on your lips and it hurts, right? I prefer more of like a gel base. So I'm like, or gel cream base. And I'm like, I thought to myself, can't talk. <laughs> Um, how's that going to work in a pencil form? So we definitely got to give it a go and see if it really is creamy and gel like. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So if that is something that's right up your alley, then don't leave. Make sure before you do go, you hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell as well. So anytime I upload a new video, you automatically get the notifications and give my video a thumbs up as well because I greatly appreciate it. So without further ado, and before my dog back here starts snoring even louder let's go ahead and get started all right you guys so let's go ahead as i mentioned let's get started with this video because it, again if you're a friend to my channel you already know one of the dogs is typically always in my studio i don't know why he always wants to be in here i guess that's a good thing i really should show you but i uh, like how he, he's just laid down like i have like, these little tiny like a velvety green tiny couch and he sleeps on it like literally that's what he does he prefers sleeping there sometimes he'll sleep like in the kitchen area on like on the uh on the carpet underneath like the table probably because he's waiting for food to drop but most times he's in here which i don't understand why it's really warm in here because this room was kind of like a, it is attached to the garage but they built a separate room anyways you guys so yeah <laughs> Sorry, squirrel moment. All right, so as I mentioned, today we're going to be reviewing a few new products I picked up from Ulta. So I ended up picking up three, is that my other dog barking? I don't know why she's barking. I ended up picking up three new lipsticks from CoverGirl Cosmetics. Now, what makes these new lipsticks very special, um, at least in my opinion, in my hum humble opinion, is that they're completely clean and vegan. Now, not only are they completely clean and vegan, when I say clean, meaning like a vegan product, and they are also carmine free. So if you're not familiar as to what that means, typically most at one point, um, the cosmetic company, in order to achieve that red color tone within like makeup products, they always get, I shouldn't say they always, but they would use a carmine, which is like an insect that was the color red. So when they take the inset, they smash it down, sorry, and it gives off that red appearance, the the red pigment that you're that you normally see in your makeup, if that makes any sense. I'm trying to make it as most simplistic as possible without being so technical in scientific form. <laughs> anyway, so it is completely carmine free. So that's really nice, right? So definitely we gotta try these out. Oh, and before we do. I gotta tell you a little story about, look at this. You see this? this? These are all new. Keep this in mind. Do you see this right here? Can you see inside the unit? Okay, now look at the other two. Look at the inside. Do you see what I see? Okay, I'm gonna tell you what happened. But anyways, and then we got three new, as I mentioned earlier, e.l.f. product lip liners. But these are, it says right here on the packaging, they are cream gel lip liner so i definitely gotta try those out as always i will include a link in the description field below so you can go ahead and find them easily on amazon just in case if you are interested in purchasing or picking up one of these lipsticks or lip liners so this way it's more 
it's easy, easy, wait, no, <laughs> user, wait, user friendly to find the product. <laughs> I don't know why the word wouldn't want to come out. Anyways, you guys, all right, so let me tell you the story about the lipsticks. Okay, so as I mentioned, I ended up purchasing them from Ulta website. Um, <laughs> so I, I strongly believe that depending when you purchase it or who, not, not winning, but who is packaging your products through Ulta, it could be a hit or miss because the first time I purchased not like not too long ago, I had purchased a product or a few products. The person who packaged my package was they did it completely well, bubble wrapped, everything. Every single thing was individually, not individually, like two or three items were like um, packaged together, bubble wrapped. There was nothing loose in the box, right? 100%. It was, I was impressed. Now, the second time when I ordered these, nothing was bubbly, 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 bubbly. <laughs> I swear, nothing was bubble wrapped. And of course, I don't know how, because these do have safety, like they have like, look, see? There's a like a sticker, right? Where it doesn't pop open. Well, it did and it came, popped open. And of course it is summertime, so it is warm. So when you purchase a lipstick or a lip product, or I would say something like in the milk makeup realm, it's going to soften up the product, especially lipstick. So what ended up happening is that this unit was open. It was dancing around in the package, which basically caused everything in the package to be this color of shade in the packaging. It was all over the place. Now, since I don't norm, I don't wear makeup out and about. It's just mainly for um, product reviews, makeup tutorials. That's the only time I use it. So yes, I could have easily had taken this back to Ulta and say, hey, I want my money back. This is what occurred. Can you do it a replacement? Well, this particular shade is completely always sold out. So I got lucky when I got my hands on it. Um, if you are curious, this is in the shade um, Coca Swirl. This must be a highly popular shade because again, as I mentioned, it's completely sold out and it's not available in stores. Anyways, so yeah, that's how it arrived. You see this? Completely just melted. Um, this is the first time I've actually lifted up this much. So I had a heck of a time trying to clean off every single product that was in the box because everything, again, was not bubble wrapped. Um, let me, okay, got it. Gotta be careful so I don't break this one. Okay, so now you can take a look and see what these colors look like. So that's the unit. Very, see this right here? even though it's still been sitting there for a while to readjust to the temperature of where in my home, it's still got like those, you see this? It sucks. I mean, that's what happens when you're ordering makeup, especially during the summertime. Oh, and even on the bottom, you see this? Again, I could easily just go back to Ulta and say, hey Ulta, um, this is how my items re were received, but I'm not going through all that hassle. I'm, I really am not. All right, let's take a, uh, take a look at this other one. Oh, sorry, I meant, to mention this is in the shade so let's see is it so oh so wait true petal i don't know what i was supposed to say anyways so here's a nice red one. Oh my god this is horrible okay let me show you look at all that again you just saw these are completely new never opened them before again it's just the the way the temperature was and during shipping it sucks but it is what it is, right? And this looks like it, it literally wants to fall off. <laughs> I'm telling you, if if I were to wear makeup all the time, trust me and believe me, I would be taking this back to the store. If this ever happens to you, take it back to the store, get your money back, get a replacement, because that's not cool. I mean, it's no one's fault. It's just the way the weather is. So we got Iconic Ruby. All right, so let's go ahead and do a little bit of some swatching here so we can see how they look like. I'm gonna do some swatching on my hands. Okay, so first shade we have here, obviously the broken one. This is the Cocoa Swirl. All right, so next shade we have here, it is the um, True Petal. This one looks really pretty, actually. Look at that, it's actually really gorgeous. A nice uh, mauve shade. And the, the third shade that I picked up is a True, or not True, <laughs> Iconic Ruby. You can never go wrong with a nice, beautiful red. Oh my God, that actually is really gorgeous. Look at those. I'm not gonna lie, these are actually really pretty. Just sucks that they came out this way or I should say they were delivered this way okay so I'm gonna go ahead and apply spill the tea right next to this shade right here 
it does feel it does feel really creamy actually we'll go ahead and apply it on my lips as well have no rhyme and reason where i'm applying it right now but as you can see that is spill the tea a nice i think a nice brown that it can easily go with a lot of shades now the next shade i picked up this one's called the bat wait baddest beige or the baddest beige um this one's actually a sold out one too very popular the name is kind of cute i'm not gonna lie <laughs> anyways so let's go ahead and apply it right here um i don't know what it is but these feel really nice to the skin okay so you see this one gorgeous right like Wow, it's really pretty. I don't know what to expect. I, I didn't know what to expect in the sense from e.l.f. Cosmetics because I have a few e.l.f. products, but you know, with e.l.f. products, especially drugstore products, they can be a hit or miss. Do you know what I mean? I, I cracked myself up. All right, so let's go ahead and swatch this one. Oh my God. This is gorgeous. Look at that color. It's like a nice, sorry, it's trying to get my, my it's trying to get my face to the camera. Look at that purple. Gorgeous. Okay, let's go ahead and do a lip combo and see how these come out overall. All right, so the first shade that we're going to go in with the lip liner. So this, we're actually going to apply it on the lips and see actually how it feels on the lips. This is the baddest bit. Baddest beige. I'm sorry, it's a force of habit. Like, you... you s <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> let's go ahead and give this a go and see how this... I'll tell you, special how this looks now this may not look the greatest on my skin tone because my skin tone is pretty much the same shade as this but we're going to give it a go either way you guys these are ridiculously creamy you guys gotta pick them up if you like creamy gel like lip liners this right here completely right up your alley all right so the next uh, now we're going to go into one of the covergirl um lipsticks and we're going to go ahead with the the combo see how it looks like so now we're going to go in with the shade true petal let's go ahead see how this looks like together now you see i can see the lip liner i can see the gel but again it just kind of blends too much into my skin but let's go ahead and give this a go i like it though actually okay take a little bit work this in a little bit see how this comes out okay i'm not gonna lie these apply so they apply very butter, butter, butterly. Is that even a word? <laughs> I just made up a word, buttery. Um, wow, this act, this combo right here actually isn't bad at all. Sorry. <laughs> no, this is actually is a really combination, a really, a really pretty combination. Now, if you're a person who prefers more on the satiny silk appearance of lipsticks and lip liners completely right up your alley you're going to love these two formulas together okay so now if you like more of a neutral brown shade right here it's gorgeous okay so we went in with spill the tea the gel the cream gel lip liner from elf cosmetics and then we went in with coco swirl from covergirl cosmetics the um the new clean lipstick look at this i i'm not gonna lie my lips look luscious. <laughs> they do. This is this is gorgeous. This combo right here, I'm telling you. I... Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I wasn't for sure how this plum color level lip liner was going to look with the iconic ruby red lipstick from CoverGirl. Not bad actually. It looks pretty decent. Now the ruby, uh, excuse me. The what's what shade is this called? I completely forgot. It is plum. Get plum and get it. Wait, yeah, yes, Plum and Get It. What was I calling it before? Anyways, it's called Plum and Get It. This lip liner could easily go really nicely with one of the other two shades that I just used. 100%, definitely. But even this right here, this combo, I'm living for it. Like, even if I went back, let's try this, and go back with the lip liner and just add a little bit more of the dark of this purple plum, I am curious, like... Okay, it went a little too far, but <laughs> it's all right. Um, no, you see that? It gives off like a nice overall ombre appearance. Like, whoa, here, let me just bring this down. Yeah, do you see that? Huge difference. I, 
I was not expecting that these two products to go so effortlessly together. Definitely leave a comment below. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. What do you guys think? I don't know about you, but this right here, these combinations that I just used from these two products, um, wow. As I mentioned before, definitely leave a comment below. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions. Look, you guys, for e.l.f. Cosmetics and for CoverGirl Cosmetics, we already know those are pretty much affordable drugstore prices. You can't go wrong. Pick yourself up a few of these. Play with them. Do what I did. You know, see which is going to work with which. I do believe, though, that this Plum Get, get It, Plum and Get It, <laughs> would actually go really nicely with all of these three shades together surprisingly because i'm not a purple person but this actually would work really well with these three right here I i'm just saying all right you guys well that is my review for today i am pretty impressed i'm not going to lie especially with drugstore um products to perform this well like i'm yeah anyways you guys if you haven't done so already make sure to hit that subscribe button also hit the notification bell as well so anytime i upload a new video you automatically get the notifications and give my video a thumbs up as well because i would greatly appreciate it sorry i had to look again because this is this is fire i'm sorry this is really nice okay i see Cover girl and elf cosmetics i see you i see you boo anyways until then make sure as always brush your teeth wash your culo and subscribe i will see you guys in my next video until then take care bye now